you wrong. The ghost, sir. Uh, a sealing schooner bound for the Japanese coast. I use these hands, Captain. I'm a writer. I write criticism, if you must know. Not that I see that You're that has anything. for a living here. You start now. Cabin boy. Macedonia's working ship, Miss Clark. Real business is to go up north, kill a lot of seals. Nothing gets in the way of that. All I ask is passage out of here. Sniffing out my soul again? Looking for the real me? What if I do not have a soul? <laughs> Two cheers for democracy. <laughs> This is how we stand up for freedom and decency and all of those important things. You cruel, arrogant, self-satisfied, odious bastard! I am the daughter of the man who owns this ship, and I insist that you take me to Japan. That's very interesting. If you intend to kill someone, Leech, you should do it. You shouldn't have to it. You seem to be short of a mate. The job is yours. No, they don't respect me. The crew, they'll, they'll beat me. I can't do it. You will be called Mr. Van Wyden. This is us. Where's Wolf? He's evil, pure evil. What did he say? He told me to kill you and drop you overboard when it's dark. Lisa and Johnson are missing. Somebody's been riding out bearings for Yokohama. When I find the bastard who gave this to them, I'll rip him into little pieces. Was it you, Mr. Van Wyden? No, sir, it wasn't. Boat ho! I'll do it, you hear me? I will! You haven't got the nerve. Jesus Christ, it's a woman in that boat. Come aboard, ma'am. Ever seen a woman before? Take her below into my cabin. Back on deck in under a minute. How did you get here? How did you? He picked me out of the sea too. But there's not much time. This this captain, you saw him. He's... Oh God, Jesus, help me. He's a kind of a monster. Picked you out of the sea from where? Please, just just listen. It's about what? You must not oh, say you know me. Now I I know that's going to be difficult for you but you must not reveal you know me. I know him, Miss Brewster. I saw the way he looked at you. If he suspects that you and I, that, that there was ever anything between us. 20 seconds. Now, Mr. Van Wyden. What do you think that is? I can't see anything. Six degrees west of north. Sorry, sir, I can't see a thing. I see no ships. You would do Lord Nelson credit, Mr. Van Wyden? What are you going to do with the lady? Welcome her aboard. I could do with some more interesting conversation. You have said almost all you have to say. Now, take another look and tell me exactly what you see. I do not like my crew lying to me. Very like the whale. Oh, Captain! Oh no, port side, Captain! Will you be setting out after them, sir? I imagine they'd be glad to be picked out of the sea. Perhaps we shouldn't bother them. They did seem to find our company irksome. Hey, look! You sure? I would know her from anywhere. What do we do now? What exactly do you propose to do to protect them? If you lay a finger on either of them, I promise I will kill you. Well, let's take on that. I promise not to lay a finger on either of the little darlings. You believe in promises? I do. Justice is a skill like sailing a boat. 
I want to believe there's good in you. I really do. We will come up on them from the port side. Change heading and bring us up on that dory. We don't know where you are and the boat's leaking. We got no choice, Leech. We're gonna have to let them pick us up. We give in, you mean? Why should we give in to that bastard? You'd rather die? I brought your luggage. Thank you. Welcome. I, um, I, I couldn't believe it was you at first, but it is. It is. But not the same me. Tell the captain to take us to the nearest port. No, I can't. Fine, I'll do it myself. I know you're the kind of person who does exactly what they want, when they want to, but I really do advise against it. Wolf Larson's an animal. Wolf Larson? This boat's not strong enough. She's changing course. She's coming this way. Damn! What will he do? With him? <laughs> you never know. Say I wanted the dump? No, you didn't. So I don't want a dump. You're going in too fast. It's not gonna stop. He's aiming at us. He's gonna ram us. He's gonna hit us on the side. Oh, God! Bring the power! Hey! Oh, for the love of God! We're gonna come aboard! I'm not sure that they do, Mr. Van Wyatt. Drop the sail! What the hell? Drop the goddamn sail! Sorry, they've lost an oar. The boat's shipping water. Not gonna make it! They're helpless, sir! We're going back for them, sir? Suppose we will have to. Eventually. Jiffy! We are picking them up. We'll never survive out here with just one oar. Set the sail. Chase the ghost. He's playing with us. I'm sure. Sack over the whole leech. Kneel on it! Oh, he's at what we sailors call the back of the boat, miss. Take in the hatsels, Mr. Van White. I think he's talking to you. Take in the axles. Take in the axles, if you please. He's taking in the sails. He's waiting for us. I never thought I'd be glad to look that bastard in the face. Captain Larson? Oh, 
I see Mr. Van Wyen has told you all about me. Hope he was complimentary. He looked as if I scared you to death. Miss... Clark. Maud Clark. Do I scare you to death? Who's afraid of death, Captain? I'm not. Yes. Welcome aboard, Mr. Clark. Come on, Captain, you lazy bastard! I trust you're not going to ask me to take you to the nearest port. Come on, Leech! I wouldn't dream of such a thing. Mr. Van Wyden did. Pull together! He saw us as a kind of floating cab, but all of a sudden he changed his mind and became a cabin boy. Come on, boys! Louis! Come on, lads! Ready a line, boys! Ugh. Put up all sail, Mr. Van Wyden. What's happening here, Captain? If you're playing catch as catch can, like children adrift on the ocean, Mr. Van Wyden is wondering whether to disobey orders. But if you train people right, they always obey orders. Hmm? Mr. Van Wyden? Fast up, boys! Uh, put your back into it! Tell the men to put up all sail, Mr. Van Wyden. Aren't you about to pick up those two men, Captain? Are we? Mr. Van Wyden? Put up all sail. Move! Hurry up! No! Come on! For God's sake! You see? It's a boy's game. Boy, hurry up! That's how we amuse ourselves at sea. Come on, this is serious. Come on. I'm not joking. Come on. But you will pick them up. He's promised me he wouldn't hurt them. Come on. Come on. Have we met somewhere before, Mr. Clark? Come on, you can do it. Why am I just your type? Come on. Come on. You've got to do it now. Bend your backs! Come on! Shoot me! Come on! Oh, come on! Bastard! Bastard! Aren't you, Captain? I must ask you to allow me to save my own ship, Miss Clark. What are you waiting for? Drop the topsail! How dare you? They'll die! You promised me! I promised you not to lay a finger on them. But I didn't. Do something. Don't just stand there. Do something! Miss Clark is shouting at you, Mr. Van Wyden. Are you the kind of man who likes women to do that to you? As would you say, remarkably developed powers of self-expression. God have mercy on your souls.
come to talk about poetry. No, I haven't. You come here to tell me to face the captain out, to stop putting up with him, to get myself killed, maybe, like an honorable man. I didn't come to tell you to get yourself killed, but you didn't try to stop him, did you? The only way to stop that man is to shoot him in the head. Is that what you want me to do? It isn't a question of courage. It might be a question of moral courage. Leach and Johnson had moral courage. Look where it got them. No, no, no. In order to make a moral point, you must be able to survive. Do you understand that? To survive this, we have to lie. You, you have to lie. You have to make it seem as, as if what? As if I'm attracted to the caveman type? I suppose it's not the most ridiculous notion. He's clearly attracted to you. You just have to play a part, the part of someone who thinks you. What? You know what I mean. And do it well, because he's no fool. Do you make a habit of getting women to fight their battles for you? Or does it give you pleasure to watch a woman make up to another man? For God's sake. I'll do what you suggest. I'll do it very well. Why is that? Because I find him very attractive. Not that it's any business of yours. Listen, if it's poetry and it's rational, it's not poetry. Simple as that. Oh, this is cozy. Not at all, Captain. I just realized who Mr. Van Weyden is. Have you? Only by reputation. I read some of his criticism, and the funny thing is, I didn't like it. I found it bloodless. It is stew, isn't it? <laughs> Miss Clark. How charmed you all are to have your company. What do you say you did for a living? Or do you live of other people like Mr. Van Wyden? All right, poetry. I don't think you'll find many takers here. I'll take some. Tell me, Schmuck, you and Horner, you're not used to the company of women, are you? Well, there was a Mrs. Horner. God bless her. Strong woman. Survived the scurvy. But the gangrene got her in the end. <laughs> 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 So, Miss Clark, are you going to tell us what you were doing in an open boat in the middle of the ocean? If you will tell me why you chose to willfully murder two members of your crew. That was murder, Miss Clark. They chose to leave, I chose not to rescue them. Now they have to live with the consequences. What was the name of the ship you were on? Oh, I never pay attention to names of ships, just a ship. There are very few ships in these waters. One of them belongs to my brother. He would not like to be on his ship, Miss Clark. And why is that? People say he's a bad character, but his brother. Have you ever known someone genuinely evil, Miss Clark? My father, I think. Oh, your father. How do you hate your father? I think he cares more for his business than he does the people around him. I think I have something in common with your father. I definitely love this ship more than the people in it. <laughs> what business is he in? He owns ships. What kind of ships? Does it matter? Steamboats. Pleasure craft, I think. I know very little about my father's affairs. <laughs> Did 
Wolf do your face, Captain? Is that it? Tell me about his hunting birds. How does he put them out? I want to know everything about the way he works. You see, him and me, we don't talk as much as we should. <laughs> well, well, well. Excuse me. Perhaps, Mr. Van Wyden, you have heard of Mr. Clark. I'm afraid I don't review poetry. There's far too much at stake. Is that so? Poets can be violent in defense of their work. Oh, we noticed that. Up on deck, didn't we, Miss Clark? I fight tooth and nail for what I believe. I like that. Especially in a room, I'd love that. Captain, smoke likes that in a woman. Don't you smoke? I love that. In a woman. I love it. Get out. You're a very passionate person, are you? Unlike Mr. Van Wyden, who is a milk and water rationalist, I'm afraid. Rationalist? I'm not sure what you mean by milk and water. I mean, you don't quite have the courage of your convictions. I thought you had promised to kill me. I cannot see you fighting for poetry like your lady friend. Miss Clark is not my lady friend. Seals. Not big, delicate creatures I love to see. Risky hump? Mr. Van Biden, if you please, sir. Oh, sorry. I used to call him Hump, Miss Clark. He has earned the privilege of his full name. Thank you. So, your father, who owns ships. What is this? Oh, this is something I'm working on. system. This is the map of the sky, all the stars. Plot the course here. Then put your eye to the glass, and you'll see heaven. All you need is one star and a dirty night to know exactly where you are. It's beautiful. How did you invent such a thing? It had to be invented. Are you all right? It's nothing. He gets headaches. I'm sorry. To believe you are. I can think of other words to describe him. But to live like that, wouldn't that be something? You're afraid of him. Yes, I am. And you should be, too. Has this journey turned you into a man, or have you just learned to do an impression upon you? Mr. Van Wyck! Trim the head, so Come on, must be! Helens! You swear I'll take!
Has he changed? Hmm? Has my brother changed? From what? Wasn't he always a bastard? Well, between us, he was the sensitive one. <laughs> so what happened? Our father's death. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. How did he die? Everyone has a weak spot. You just have to find it, that's all. He keeps something in his desk, Louis says. Is it to do with your father? Tell me again about the layout of his boots. It's a half circle, you say? No, 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 no. It's like this, in the shape of a troll. Miss Clark, now they start killing animals. Perhaps you'd better go below. No, thank you. Open the horizon! Move! Sir and Wyden? You see her? My brother, I think. Unless it's a Russian steamer warning us off. Watch them. Those are our seals! Oh, 
Macedonia. Goddamn kicking on the fields. See what's happening? He's blocking us. We are driving the seals right into his path. Beat! That's all we are. We were here first. Those are our seals. We're gonna get to. We're gonna no seals. Let's go back to the coast. Ashley, where are you going? Faster! Just making it easy for you. See? Some of them are giving up already. It's gonna get damn ugly. It's a disaster! Let's break to him! He's screwed. You see, we've screwed them. Come on! Jesus Christ! So what now, Captain? All the way. The bastard will have all our shields. There's moral outrage for you. Will a strong man like you let them get away with this? Hold her steady, Mr. Van Wyden. Smile. There are no dreams in my life. All I'm thinking about is the fact that I'm going to lose $1,500 if I let this continue. What on earth are you doing? Being persuasive. Ah! Oh. Get me on the coat! Get me on the coat! I'm going to raise hands. What's going on? Ah! Ah! Oh, he's hit! Oh, no! Spork! Get down, you man! Jesus! Arrest me! Man, I'm going to raise hands! Your girlfriend might be a quite useful person to go elephant shooting with. Don't you think, Mr. Van Did Ryan? I say she was my girlfriend? Maybe not. But you'd like her to be. I see the way you look at it. I there. wish people would not talk about me as if I wasn't here. I do not like or approve of Mr. Van Biden in any degree. The bullet went straight through him, glad to see. Oh, oh, up on you, Try a shooting to kill. Order. It's quite something if you know how to do it. Huh, Mr. Van Biden? Oh, I shot my men. There's ours, gentlemen. Get those men aboard. We are headed for that fog bank. Get those stories up. We're going after them. Hold the sail on you can. All cameras up. Trim the foresail. Bring her off the wind.
go into the fog bank directly on this course. Once we're in, we'll lose him. But we'll feel him, and he'll feel us. We'll ram him side on. the tops saying you knew her in San Francisco? Did I say that? I think we knew of one another. Please don't insult my intelligence, Mr. Van Miss Clark! Captain. Sit down. You're not drinking, Mr. Van Wyden. I prefer not. Why not? How about you, Miss Clark? Would you like to celebrate with me? Perhaps we should go in my cabin. Why not? Right, 
Mr. Clark knows how to live. Do you know how to live, Mr. Van White? Spear your shooting today, boys. Order! Go back! Come on, the great man! I've been trying to work you two out. In what way? About how well you knew each other in San Francisco. What if we did? You admit it? Why shouldn't I? It was Mr. Van Biden who seemed anxious that you shouldn't know. Whereas you were not bothered. I don't know why he thought that. Perhaps you thought I might be jealous. You would have no reason to be jealous. Mr. Van Biden is no threat to you. That's true. We walked out together a couple times back in San Francisco. We were, I suppose you could say, part of the literary world. A friendship, then. Perhaps Mr. Van Biden would have liked it to have been a bit more. And so the friendship turned sour? Or did it, I wonder? Miss Bruce is running away from her. <laughs> Miss, Miss Bruce, do not climb. What difference does it make? Why are you always stepping around him? Why am I? My name is Brewster. My father is Sam Brewster, <laughs> the one who owns your brother's boat. I mean, that's proof. Why didn't you tell me? He was... Afraid. I was on the Macedonia. Your brother found out who I was and tried to have me killed. Sam Brewster's daughter. Well. And she walked away from the man Daddy had chosen. I didn't love him. Love? What does that word mean? It's only desire. Wanting something and getting it. Wanting and loving should be the same. Getting something should mean looking after them. Caring for them. Sentimentality. He's losing, <laughs> you think? I mean, we came here to kill seals, not a brother's bloody crew. Ben Wayne and that woman have got to him. Oh, come on, boys. Let's not be too hasty. He's weaker than I've ever seen him. It's true. You're right. We should. We, we should go to him and tell him he's losing it. Oh, what's your opinion? Oh, what are you doing? I'm not busted, Van Wyden. We should, though, lads. We should sort out the captain for good and all. But we can't afford him. Cheers. 25. <laughs> So, your father wanted you married and you wouldn't be forced? No. But women like the idea of being forced, no? How can you say that? I don't mean the actual forcing. I don't mean the hands of a man on you making you do something against your will. Mm. I mean... The idea of it. Quite. Oh, the idea of it can be very attractive. Boys, we got to know what we want. We got to go careful here. What do we want? We, we want to be treated right, you dumb Irish bastard. We came on this ship to make money. We'd be better off working for his brother. Blow his head off. Well, you've come on, haven't you, son? Ah! Whoa, what was Didn't that? Didn't I tell you to shut up? You want to live. You want to feel the wind in your face. You want to feel existence unaltered by thinking or weighing up this against that or any of your morality. You don't want to hump. You want me. I saw it in your face the first time you came aboard. Come on. You don't want me. You want me. Just a minute. No. No. I saw it. I... No. Come on. No. No. I... Cabin, okay? And a mate with him. Let's do it.
get when he leaves, expects it. Leave me alone. Captain Larson! Hey, what do you want? What do you want? To see the captain. The captain's resting. We have some things we need to say to the captain. Say them to me. Say them to me. Trust me. Trust me, this can wait till morning. Of course it can, Mr. Von Waden. Come on, fellas. Let's go. Off to bed now. Come on, let's go. Off to bed now. Go on. Sleep. Come on. Go on, the captain will see you in the morning. Let's go. Where are you go, boy? Come on. Boy, get up there. Where are you go now? Upstairs. Come on. Get out. You're the one who told me to act as if I liked you. I suggest you just leave, OK? Why did you have to do that? Why? Why? Put the blanket over me. My eyes, I can't see properly. did it. Um, what? Stood up to me, you little bastard. I never thought you would. That's good, is it, Captain Larson? <sighs> Better than lying down and taking it. But Mr. Lafayette, I don't intend to do that anymore. <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to leave. We? Unless you want to stay and take care of him. Let's move, shall we? How long was I asleep for? 
six hours or so. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry for the way I behaved. I... Is this the right thing to do? Is that or kill him? Let me steer. Fine. You should get some sleep. Come here. Now, take the steering oar like this. If the sails fill and you can't hold it, you just let it go, see? Right. Where'd you was resting, Captain? Maybe I was. Not been well, sir. Been under the weather, sir. I'm fine now. It's nothing. Good. Thought you might like to know, Captain, Mr. Van Weyden's gone. He looked all over the ship. And so is the young lady. And there's a boat missing. Set sail and course for Yokohama. We call this way to shoot seals, Captain Larson? Or are we now trading in human skins? No! Aye, sir. Crew to the main cell! Still heading for we're lucky we'll meet another school. Catch the boss and then he will suffer. There she is. Get the men ready, we'll board her. Get that sail up again. Only trouble is, I haven't the faintest idea where we are. <laughs> Extraordinary. Extraordinary. 
Am I extraordinary? There you go, you see. I, here we are in an open boat in the middle of the Pacific, and you're arguing about words. All arguments are arguments about words. Are they? You have absolutely no idea what women feel or think, do you? I'm learning you all the time. You have to be cast adrift with one before you even get a sense of them. You're intolerable. Well, you have no idea how intolerable. Women want to be made to feel alive. By wonderfully alive men, by Captain Larson. You are jealous, that's all. Like a child, you're jealous. Listen. Look. Land. <laughs> He's gaining on us! Put on more sail! Get the rifles ready, come on! It won't be necessary, Captain. What the hell do you mean by that? We're gonna ask your brother to come aboard. Whose bright idea was that? Mine, Captain. Never forget old cooking. This is absurd. It's a business decision, Captain. Money. Like you always say. Catch a lot more seals with your brother. <laughs> Signal the Macedonia, come on. Tell them to come aboard. Hey! Hey! <laughs> you can grab a ball! Grab a ball! I build a house, of course, and hunt for food, and generally impress you with my masculinity. Well, go on then. Impress me. You do this to my brother. We thought it is you can't stand the sight. What's between me and my brother is between me and my brother. I wouldn't worry if I were you. I don't think you can see a foot in front of his face. Take him below. Thank <laughs> you. 
You keep something precious in your desk, I hear. Who told you this? <laughs> Louis told Henderson. Henderson told me. Better know where it is. You can't kill me. I know all your weaknesses. I got a lot of beatings for you, didn't I? Dear old daddy. What else can you do with a cripple, eh? Oh! Oh! You are such a fine specimen of a man. stuff. Load all of the skins onto the Macedonia. We'll move over to her right now. What about him? Let's leave him on his ship. Blind captain. Without a crew. Could smell his way to San Francisco. small twigs and all we need now is a roof all we need Certainly an improvement on your critical work. You know, I don't think even as a critic I was ever in a position to judge. I don't think I knew anything about anything. 
I don't think I started to live until now. Because of? Oh, Wolf Larson, of course. Made a man out of a critic, isn't that how you see it? I think you've improved beyond belief since I first knew you. I wouldn't presume to say why.
Who's there? Who is it? I'm there for the duration. He's blind. He is, but he's still dangerous. He moves with complete confidence. He thinks he's locked me in the lazarette. He's been drifting a while. The sails are destroyed. But I think she can be repaired. Cabin was ransacked. Found this. Raise these sails and sail this ship out of here. Stand by it. You came back. Improving, isn't he, Miss Brewster? How did you know I was here? Heard your breathing. What happened? Was it your brother? My brother. Why don't you let us help you? Don't go looking for the good in me, Miss Brewster. He tried it already. It just isn't there, I'm afraid. Mart, let's go. This will take some time. We'll come back tomorrow. None of us are going anywhere. Not today, not tomorrow. This is still my ship. I don't need eyes to fight my way about it. No one is going to sail it without my permission. What do you feel for him? Same as you. Pity. Anything else? I don't know what to call it. I don't know what I feel for him. I don't know what I ever felt for him. It's not what I feel for you. reasonable one. That's the thing I thought I couldn't stand about you. Only now do I understand it's the most wonderful, impressive thing about you. It's what... It's what I think I love about you. Please, Humphrey. 
Please, Humphrey. Still seem to be alive, Mr. Van Wyden. Where is she? Class. Yes. You're in love with her, aren't you? What would you know about love? Who are the children in that photograph? You're not a blind man, are you? Mr. Van Wyden. Stay here. I don't think I'm going to go. Nowhere. Done it. I think she'll make it to San Francisco. I'm sure she will. Gone. Lock yourself in. Don't worry. I'll deal with this. be a great marksman. 
but in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man's king. It's over. We're sailing her home, and you're coming with us. Maybe you are right. We'll never sail her away. Never. It's a tool, man. I think I have a tool, man. It's over. My father didn't want to know him because he was a cripple. <sighs> so I looked after him. Gave him all the love my father couldn't. One day he came with a knife to me. And for no reason, he cut his face. Just like that. And he said, I did it. I don't think I ever denied it. He got all the love he wanted after. sense at all.
probably say something. What the? I don't know. Do you ever get free of people? You can try. But they mark you. Even in the smallest things. This is still his ship. You'll sail it the way he taught you. I'll try. I'll tell you one thing, though, Maud. I intend to be a hell of a lot nicer to the crew.